How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's week 14 of 2023. As usual, we're talking about everything that's happened in the Horizon community this week. The hot fixes, the updates, the changes, the leaks, all the stuff like that. You know how it works by now. If you enjoy these weekly update videos, please consider subscribing. Let's jump straight into it. So there's been a bunch of random stuff happen in the past couple of weeks, thanks to the release of the Rally Adventure expansion and the Midnight Horizon update. The Midnight Horizon update, we have the full changelog on screen right now, or at least we have the graphic which goes into detail of what's came. If you haven't seen it yet, here it is. Now we do have the full changelog for that update as well, where we can see each individual bug fix that was fixed. Sometimes it's good to see everything that was included in the update and not just the highlights. So we have all the general bug fixes that were sort of fixed within the Midnight Horizon update. We have the cars fixes, all car related stuff. And then we have the miscellaneous ones such as accolades event lab and multiplayer now the rally adventure expansion came out last week it was a relatively smooth launch there was a few issues with it which caused a few updates which we'll touch on later but the main one is the fact that the expansion unbeknownst to some actually released early the midnight at horizon update released on the 28th of march and the rally expansion expansion was supposed to come out on the 29th well, for Steam users, upon downloading the Midnight at Horizon update on the 28th, it actually unlocked the expansion a whole day early for anybody who downloaded the update on Steam, which meant that people could play it straight away. Now, straight away, people were live streaming the expansion early and it, the word was going round. However, Playground Games were very quick to react. We can see a note about it here. They acknowledged it and the, their way of fixing this was to provide another update for the Steam clients, which basically stopped the game from being playable until the Rally Adventure expansion released. So anybody who got the expansion a day early on the 28th and got this second update to sort of stop that couldn't play the game for a whole 24 hours until the expansion released. Now, I can't imagine many people were that bothered about this, but it probably confused a few people who didn't actually know that they were playing it early. So other than that, the I guess the release was rather smooth. There were a few issues identified straight after the release, such as rally pace audio being inaudible for non-English languages and then the inability to reacquire the Rally Adventure cars from the auto show if you had sold them or deleted them. This, this was quite a big issue if you had unlocked an exclusive Rally Adventure car, sold it or deleted it or whatever. There was no way of getting it back from the auto show. They identified this issues and then as usual, we had a hotfix update a few days after the release of the expansion. We can see the full changelog for this hotfix here, which fixed the major issues that they identified a minute ago. So if you were playing the expansion, you had any major issues within it, this is the hotfix that has hopefully fixed it. Now, there's been another hotfix for Horizon 4 for PC players on Steam to fix a potential client crash if you're a Horizon 4 player. There you go. Now, they have recently provided a follow-up to the hotfix that they put out a few days ago, specifying that the 2001 Ford Focus RS will be added back to the auto show for reacquisition in the next Horizon 5 series update. So it seems like the identified issue I mentioned a minute ago, they weren't able to fix for the Ford Focus RS which is kind of weird so the next series update is still a good few weeks away so hopefully that's not an issue that many players have been having worst comes to worst you can reacquire these cars through the auction house but we all know how unreliable and expensive the auction house is sometimes if you are finding this video helpful guys please do consider subscribing so you don't miss another video like this every week Let's carry on. So that's everything in terms of the updates. What do we have in terms of leaks? Well, the latest leaks over on GT Planet, as usual, that's where all the data miners are. TGR55 found some interesting things in the dialogue strings regarding the Rally Adventure. The file was called Dialogue P DLC 2 Heroes Baja. And based on what he found within this dialogue file, um, I actually downloaded the dialogue file, had a bit of a scan through myself. He provides the download there. But within the dialogue file it seems to be notes and comments about a Horizon story. Now within this Horizon story, it seems like you're able to unlock the Rally Adventure cars that are already in the game, but through the Horizon story rather than the campaign storyline that we actually got. So this could mean one of two things, one of three things, sorry. This could just be an early draft of the Rally Adventure expansion. 
and they were originally going to have a horizon story but they gave us sort of a campaign mode instead or it is signs of a horizon story to come in the future you know the blueprints are there but they've not completed it yet the rewards that were supposed to be in it obviously they've given us through the campaign so we don't really know what rewards we'd get through this horizon story but nevertheless a the talks and the dialogue about a horizon story are there and as he noted here, one of the lines are, use this line if you need cave paintings exposition here, but with the New Horizon story, I don't think it's necessary. So they're talking about a New Horizon story there within the dialogue. It'd be very interesting to see if that goes anywhere. Or number three, this could be some sort of seasonal update for the Rally expansion. This is because of mentioned, mentions such as Rallymus and other stuff like that. So again, this could be nothing. It could just be drafts and leftover dialogue strings in the files. But maybe a Horizon story is coming for the Rally adventure at some point or a seasonal update. That would be pretty cool. Speaking of updates, the next update is High Performance on the 27th of April. So it's still a couple of weeks away. Within that update, we can see we're getting new cars, Stadium Oval, returning PR stunts, and new collectible. Now, the Stadium Oval makes complete sense because in the last Torben Tuesday we got, we could see that they were hinting at something coming within the Stadium. Now, we weren't exactly sure what it was. It didn't come within the Midnight Sun Horizon update, but we can see that whatever it is, Stadium Oval is coming in the High Performance update. Now we all like high performance cars, so that's one of people's main excitements about this update is what high performance cars are we getting? Well, there's lots of leaked cars at the moment. We have this leaked car list, so I guess any high performance car that's on this list might be coming. More specifically, the one that I think is very likely is the Lamborghini Huracan STO. This was leaked recently in one of the drag racing updates. We're getting a drag racing themed update at some point. That was leaked a while ago, a full video on that. The Lamborghini Huracan STO was leaked within that. So maybe the high performance update is the day we finally get the Huracan STO. That would be nice. But other than that, any high performance vehicle is a possibility to come, especially on the leaked car list here. The last thing we have to go off is the crossword that's still yet to be completed. There's one thing left. If you guys can think of anything high performance related that would fit right there, maybe we've solved it. As for everything, guys, that's everything for today. Make your predictions in the comment section below. What cars do you think are coming within the high performance updates? I reckon the STO, and I don't know after that. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. I'll see you all later.